Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, I've just uh, checked my collection like I do most mornings and um, my juvenile Theraphosa apophysis or apophysis, whatever you want to call it, has um, flipped onto its back. And I'm not too sure if it's a male or female. So I'm hoping it's a male because I'm hoping that uh, he'll be mature. Not this month, probably next month. So let's just get my flashlight because I can't use the light on my iPhone because it causes a reflection and there is he or she just there guys on its back let's just zoom in for you guys please focus thank you very much and there is he or she just there on its back and I get loads of them hurricane hairs and flick them absolutely everywhere all on their body, all on the floor. This is just a defence me mechanism. And it stops any predators from getting actually towards the tarantula while they're in this kind of vulnerable state because they can't defend themselves while they're on their back anyway. So, yeah. I don't know how long this will take. It might take a couple of hours. could take five hours, seven hours. You know, they just uh, push out of their old exoskeleton when they're ready. So I'll check back in about an hour and I'll keep everybody updated. So guys, it's now 3.35pm and I noticed that he or she was on its back around 10 o'clock this morning. So five and a half hours later, we've just seen a little bit of movement. So it looks like it's just starting to push out of its exoskeleton. And you can see all the legs starting to move. But yeah, like I said earlier, guys, it does take a long time once they get bigger. So, but I'm 99% sure that this is a, a male. And um, yeah, everything looks absolutely superb so this is where the molting process begins now um, he hasn't really given himself much room to push out to be honest you can just see the piece of uh, driftwood that I put inside it's just underneath its legs or beneath its legs I should say and um, yeah I'm hoping it should be okay but um, yeah it looks like we have uh, progress and Hopefully in the next hour or so, he should be in his new clothes. So I decided to zoom out a little bit more, guys, and you can see the tarantula a little bit better. So it looks like the fangs are out and part of the jaws is out as well. So shouldn't take too long to... Uh, get the legs out as well but I'll um, keep everybody updated and I'll get back to you very soon so guys just 10 minutes later look at the progress already look at them fangs oh my god he is nearly done I reckon I reckon another 20 minutes and um, he will be finished so his fangs are safely out and it looks like his pulps are nearly out. You can just see his pulps just next to his fangs there. Unfortunately I can't do a time lapse on my iPhone because I can't zoom in with a time lapse option and there's no light as well. So that's why I'm using my flashlight. But um, yeah, it's a little bit of a shame. It can be a little bit annoying. I can't do a time lapse, guys, because it would make it so much easier. So um, yeah, looks like uh, the multi is progressing very nicely. And I'll uh, get back to you guys in around about 10 minutes. So everyone, 10 minutes later even more progression and I've just put a new battery in my light so you can actually see some better 
quality footage and look at the colours. With miles I actually turn a purpley colour. I've actually had a mile Tiapophosis before and I called him Red Sox because <laughs> he had a uh, red socks <laughs> red legs and uh, yeah there's like a purpley reddy colour and um, he was only around about the seven inch in leg span so uh, he wasn't really that big compared to my adult female which is around about the nine inch in leg span I feel that she's got one more malt in her I've had her ten years now I bought her in 2011 as a five inch sub adult female and she's malted probably three, four times in my care in the last 10 years. So, yeah, I feel that she's got one more malt in her. And I'm hoping she'll get to around about the 10, 11 inch in leg span. But, um, yeah, it looks like things are going absolutely perfectly fine. Always amazing to say. So guys, he is definitely not mature yet. I can see his pulps and I can't see any baldus petal pulps. So he's not mature yet, which I thought he wouldn't be anyway. So next month, he will be definitely a mature male. So I'm hoping that um, I can get the flip over. So the next part of the video guys is him flipping back over onto his legs. And um, like I said earlier, I'll just press record. I'll walk away and uh, hopefully we can um, see the flip over. But uh, yeah, you can see all the legs moving. And it looks like he's nearly done. Probably another, another 10, 15 minutes, guys, and uh, we'll have a successful malt. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. He is finished. And it's took him, I would say, around about six, seven hours, which is about normal for a tarantula of this size. So the only bit I need to do now, guys, is try and catch the flip over. So, like I said earlier, I'll press record, walk away, and hopefully I'll catch it. And there we go everyone. Always nice to see the flip over. So I'll leave him for about two weeks. Let his body and fangs harden up. And I'll offer him some food. So I hope you enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen. And thanks for watching everyone.